They're going to the starting lineups presented by Infinity. Joe Harris along with Jared. So here we go. Ball in the air in the City Edition uniforms for the first time. Eight of 16 from the floor. Joe Harris out to Crab and the Nets. An honest individual, so may maybe he did a great. He is. Here's Gortat inside. Polish machine. One of their points, Chris. They score in the paint. They get to the free throw line. Oh, two in a row for that point play in the Nets of the 9-2 lead. And now a driving bucket. Had a little walkthrough at their hotel in the ballroom. Let him sleep in today as Joe Harris goes driving. See there, that opened up the floor for Russell to go to work. Grab run off the line, finds Jared Allen for this Nets team and created many driving lanes. Beverly a three, he connects. No one is it. size, width, strength, and Allen has gone right at him. Russell giving room and he makes the Clippers count. Joe Harris. Slipped to 50% on the year from behind the arc this year. There's Russell with a runner. And the floater. His decision making is what stood out most to me during this recent stretch. The heck of a pass by Joe. Gilgis Alexander. 17 letters in his last name. Longest name in Beverly. Or Gallinari. Run off the line to the rim. The Last year, a big reason why he opened up things for Wall and for Deal. There's Jared Allen attacking the offensive glass. Dinwiddie. Talk about a guy who can get anywhere. He Tend to shoot. Allen on the roll. Oh, nice move to get around Montrez Harrell. Effort staying in front of a man, not allowing easy drives to the basket. The lob for Jared Allen again. Beverly. Rolling is Montrez Harrell. Finger roll. Kept it alive. And Dinwiddie hustling after it. Russell a three. It's good. Dinwiddie backs up, revs it up. Drives past Harrell. Oh, what a finish. With the ball in his hands. And that's where when you watch him get by players, he leaves them behind feet. Memories of this arena, though, suffered a serious knee injury. Harold with a blow by. Broadcast last night because oh. he was broadcasting. Um, th that was the, the best one Grady had. <laughs> Gotta send that to RJ. There's a steal by Wallace going to the other end, and Wallace will lay it up and in. Our man rotation, so sometimes there's an odd man out. He might be the guy tonight. With Williams able to get that one. Russell around a Davis screen. And D'Angelo Russell. Russell. The only way the Nets are sharing the ball here. And makes the... Ends with him making a shot. Just excellent ball. Another 7-0 run for the Nets. There's Scott ending them. Defending Russell there to a tough shot. Here comes Scott. Lead ahead to Wallace. And Wallace getting to the rim. Looks, and a lot of that has also translated to how they're playing defensively. A ton of energy and pressure. Scott hits. You do feel like Carroll to hit his stride in the NBA. Now 32 years old. Nine seasons. And Gallinari gets that one. Bench, an assistant for the Spurs. And he remembers that Boonholzer looked at him, appreciated his game, what he did, goes to Atlanta. And then he's run into his gate. Did you say Aruba? Yes, in Aruba. Here's Harris a three. And it's good for Joe Harris. 6'9", Iceland native, going to work. And hits. Uh, excellent individual, he said he is. And he said, I even kind of don't mind yelling at him because he never talks back. He just yeah. smiles at you. Yeah. Cortot kept it alive. Beverly. Left wide open. Didn't win it. Attacking. Crab. Hits. Get the lead back up to 10. Let's extend their defense. Beverly breaks free. Finds Robinson to the corner. How about that? Right off the bench of the not, the, not allowing Allen inside position. Dudley connecting on a three. Again. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys. That's tonight's quote book presented by Geico. Tobias Harris had 14 to lead the Clippers, and he gets in another bucket right there. He's got 16 on him. And 
They didn't key on him right there. So let me show you. He's just got so many weapons as we see. Alexander. Rookie had a great freshman year at Kentucky last year. Gets it inside to Gortat. Short arms that a little bit, but a nice job of at least getting that footwork started. Another ill advised play. Not on the same page when they had that play to the basket. And Gallinari knocks down from an MVP last year, missing the runner there. It was the 11th pick this season. And then the next answer is back. Beverly chasing Harris around. Russell finds Joe in the corner. Got loose, and he knocked down a three. Off the ball screens. To me, Chris, that's what's changed and tweaked some of the nuances of their offense this season. As Russell knocks down another. Big aspect of why they have been so effective on the offensive end. Harris around a court top screen, and Marcin Gore's players was over on the sideline. Now Nick Buke is hearing it from Doc Rivers. And Gallinari knocks down a three. See, <laughs> that's where I want to stay. No matter how we get there, he goes, I don't care if it's twos, threes, or ones. There's a three. Of <laughs> Two of your favorite <laughs> Two things. Two of my right favorite things. Rondé, oh, with a little dip. That's shooting exactly the same 48% from the field. Gallinari with that beautiful jump shot. Beverly goes to the bench. Here's Tobias Harris. He's going to Scott. Run off the line. Finds Harold going to the rim, and he'll go to the line with it. Lou Williams, big part of that bench scoring. The Clippers average over 19 a game. Beats Harold inside it again. Harrell. Tobias Harris has 21 tonight. Finds Wallace knifing through. Lou Williams. Final seconds of the third quarter in Brooklyn. And Williams gets the bucket with pointless to tease. It was. I would never tease you like that. It was just Capper. There's <laughs> no problems. We're all by five points or less. And they came down to the wire. This team with confidence down the stretch. And Scott cuts the lead. Joe Harris attacking. And the next jump back in front. Looks to shoot. Warren and Williams reaching. Three to shoot. Carroll can't get it to fall, but Davis there. There's Lee Williams. Finds Harold. Harold able to score on him. Here's where he backs up, revs it up. Now pulls up and connects from three. And then for the first time, a 15 point advantage at one point. Russell, all oh, the shake, and then Harold. Tobias Harris. And there's a turnaround, a block on their City Edition uniforms. With nine to shoot. The lob for Allen in a season high. A two point lead. And Kenny Atkinson talking yesterday before the game about what they missed with Allen. As Harold inside dunks it. A ferocious play. Came up short. Here come the Clippers. Harold leaking out. Harold to the rim and a slam. And Harold was content closes out in these final four minutes. Beverly back it out. Gallinari with a fake. Knocks down a three. And the Clipper action led by as much as 15. But he gets slipped away in the fourth quarter of the second and back to back. And there's a limited. And Harold affected that shot, but then when he comes up with it. Russell a three. And a big bucket for D'Angelo. The drive, the floater. Allen was there, but Harold comes up with it. And Montrez Harold. The floor, you gotta go quick. Russell. Driving it and scoring there. Quick two. Is Harris. Can't hit. 20 seconds to go. Harris off the beat from Russell. Final seconds of the fourth quarter. The Nets who controlled this game right up until the fourth. Where the Clippers took control, led by Danilo Gallinari's 28 points, Tobias Harris with 27. And the Clippers win their fourth in a row, stealing one here in Brooklyn, 120.